All right. Uh, I know we're only supposed to take like five minutes. Three, Bill. But um, I, uh, I waited 45 years for this. This is hard to do. I'm mean, cramming everything in. You know, I was going to start with a romaine lettuce toast. I wouldn't be eating that right now. Be very careful. Uh, first and foremost, a special thanks to the committee, members and those involved in inducting me to this Hall of Fame. Uh, this is truly an honor, and I am humbled to be included in such a prestigious group. We have people here with some serious accomplishments. And I look back at my own high school career, and I did okay. I wasn't expecting Rick Santarone to call me and say, Rick, guess what? You're getting inducted. And I'm like, Rick, this is Rick Lancelotti. <laughs> sure. You're sure you got the right guy. You know, and I'm like, you know, and then Coach Martin called me. Coach Shepard called me. All right, all right, I'll go. But on the long drive here, it was, uh, I just pulled in about a half hour before this started. Five hour trip got me thinking a lot about a lot of things. And I had gone through this speech maybe, I don't know, 250 times or so. And I was trying to find the right words about everything and, um, you know, and where it all started. And it started for me when I was a junior in high school. I had moved from Concord, New Hampshire, which is a small town with, you know, a few hundred kids in the high school. And the next thing I know, I'm walking into my junior year at Cherry Hill East. They had like 35,000. <laughs> it was big, and I was, you know, I was a, I was a shy guy, and I, you know, it was uh, really hard for me, and I, I really struggled uh, a couple of years there, and all I could do was just wait for baseball to start. And uh, so September rolls around, and I'm kind of waiting for March tryouts, and. And so I show up, finally, tryouts are in the parking lot because the weather was bad and the fields were wet. And, uh, and I show up and, and they're like, all right, you know, it's going to be around the corner there in the parking lot. So I go to the parking lot and there's literally, and I'm not kidding, there are 130 kids. Now we used to have 20 or 30 trying out back in New Hampshire and now I got 130 kids to deal with. So I go up to one of the coaches because they had about 10 of them out there and I'm like well where are the outfielders because I'm an outfielder he goes well you go over there so I look over there there's like 40 of them I'm like well I, I don't think I can beat out 40 guys so I am not an outfielder <laughs> well then I'll go to first base I'm left-handed I only got three positions here we can go to I go to first base where are the first baseman oh they're over there there's like 20 of them <laughs> well I can't beat 20 guys out forget that so then I wandered over to the pitching coach, which is Coach Shepard, and he says, are you a pitcher? And I said, well, how many lefties you got? <laughs> he goes, I think we only got like one or two. I'm a pitcher. <laughs> right? So after I made the team as a pitcher, I was scared to death, I couldn't hit my way on. And then after that, I started hitting an occasion, like, hey, you know, you hit pretty good. All right, I guess I'll play outfield. So then I wandered out in the outfield. And I knew they had a, you know, this, this background and, and, you know, Cherry Elise, big name, a lot of kids, a lot of great athletes. And, and when I was there, like I said before, I was shy and I, you know, I didn't have a lot of confidence. And so there were two men who I remember helping me so much, pushing me through, teaching me things, work ethic. These guys, over my entire career, 17 years in pro ball, eight countries, four continents, it's like a gypsy, you know, and I loved it. I loved every minute of it. But I always remember what was taught to me by two guys who happen to be here today, Dave Martin and Bill Shepard. Thank you.
best part about it is I get to tell everybody in the world publicly, okay, so they can hear it. And I didn't have to send a text or an email or can't do much on my flip phone, but you get the picture. There's a few other people I'd like to mention. Now, let's see. Right. <laughs> um, there's a couple, I only got a couple things to say. I don't have much. I stole this from Billy Swift, so you can have to with me. <laughs> it's good to see some familiar faces. You guys I haven't seen in 45 years. Great to see Lenny. Where are you, Len? Let me just tell you something, again, in public, of all my years of playing, that man's one of the best hitters I ever saw. He could hit in his sleep, he could do it with a blindfold on. If he did it with a blindfold on, he'd still get three hits. Okay? Good to see you, my friend. Vince, Vince Lamont, okay, great pitcher from East. Okay, it's good to see Vince. I'd like to personally thank Vince and publicly for sending me to detention more than anybody could ever imagine. Okay, which puts me in the detention hall of fame, probably. Uh, I was told I should tell you this story before I go. And it happened, you, you think about when you're a ball player, all you want to do is play football. Just get me in there one day, just one day, and I'll be happy. So my very first day of football, I signed with the Pittsburgh Pirates, and they sent me down to North Carolina. So I get off the plane, I'm taking a 45 minute ride, and the cabbie's talking to me about, you know, what it's, what's it like, you know, I love the Pirates, and I love the Pirates, and we're going back and forth. And we're playing a team, uh, the Cincinnati Reds A-ball team. And I got there about two hours early, and I walked into the clubhouse, there was about three or four guys sitting around in street clothes, and they're talking, you know, where are you from? And I'm telling them New Hampshire, and they're like, wow, you guys even play up there? <laughs> like, yeah, I play like three or four games a year. And so we're talking what position, outfield, outfield. About 20 minutes go by, and they go, well, I better check in with the manager. Where's his office? They said, it's down that hall. So I started, I grabbed my bag, I started walking down the hall and I turned and I said, so, by the way, who are we playing today? And they said, we're playing the Pirates. <laughs> and I went, what? <laughs> the who? They're like the Pirates. And I go, no, who are we playing? I go, we're playing the Pirates. Why? And they're on like, oh, no. And they go, you're in the wrong clubhouse. <laughs> oh. Right? The pain of it all. I'm like, I've been in there one day. This is my first day of Pro Ball. Yeah, Mr. Big Shot, right? <laughs> so anyway, it's funny how life comes in full circle. I now teach coaching, baseball and softball facility up in Buffalo, New York. Wife, two kids. Okay, just had a granddaughter. I'm a grandfather now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. She does turn 14. She's a nice girl. <laughs> that was for a cheap clap. That's terrible. No, I just had like two weeks ago. So my grandpa. It's so weird to see your own with, with a little baby. It just blows you away. And um, in closing, I would just like to say that uh, it has really been an honor. I would have drove another. 50 hours to get here. And, uh, and thanks to coaches. All you coaches, guys, you've done such a great job. I know I got to call out Dave Martin, Bill Shepard, but that's how much they meant to me. And still do. And uh, I think all the inductees today should receive a free membership to this golf course <laughs> for life. Okay? I just think it'd be a nice gesture. <laughs> Not that farmhouse across the street. I don't want that. I want a nice condo right on maybe the 18th floor. Right? Thank you. All right. Thank you, folks.